Today's uh, prophecy update, I'm just going to just do more of a reminder uh, as um, we're reflecting on just the amount of signs of the times that we're seeing all around us of the end times, the last days. And uh, without having to get into all the news articles, you can see how crazy it's getting on a weekly basis. Uh, You do see uh, the wars and rumors of wars on a whole nother scale uh, on a monthly basis. And what's happening in the Middle East, uh, the tensions that are rising within Israel, uh, the surrounding nations as well, especially with Iran. You do see the pestilences and famines going uh, all over the world. Jesus says that you'll see these sort of things taking place. Uh, The natural disasters from the earthquakes in various places. There's more earthquakes now than any other time in history. Uh, And frequencies and magnitudes of these earthquakes all around us. Uh, As Jesus says, there'll be earthquakes in various places. You do see the natural disasters uh, on a whole other level uh, with the amount of hurricanes and cyclones and mud you know, slides and all these other uh, components that are going on on a natural disaster uh, issues. We do see, uh, on a positive note, the gospel that's going to go around the world and continues to, to go out there, and just from mission teams to going out there to preach the gospel. But we have the technology today uh, with the satellites, uh, with the phones that we have, uh, mission teams going out. The, the gospel is going around the world. Uh, there's only, you know, maybe a thousand languages the Bible still has to be translated in, uh, but we're seeing just a tremendous amount of ministry taking place. The other thing that you see such a uh, signs of the time that is so blatant in our face is the godlessness that's happening in society, the perversion that's going on all over the world. It's just uh, out of control, um, and you're just seeing just the way some of the way people are behaving, the violence, uh, the immorality is on a whole nother scale today than it was even five years ago or ten years ago. Uh, we're seeing the amount of persecution of Christians uh, more martyred today than any other time in history, especially in some of the other uh, you know uh, countries in the Middle East and even in China. Uh, how many are imprisoned there? Uh, there's a lot of false prophets and false Christs out there. Uh, every year there's more people popping up claiming that they're the Christ. Uh, we're also seeing more of a people walking away from the Lord in apostasy. Uh, partly, A, they have never been truly been born again, or B, they've never really received uh, the, the teaching of God's word and applying it to their life, and it's easy for them to be going from you know here to there, and, and their eels are easy tickled by entertainment stuff that's out there and fluffy messages. Uh, the even Daniel talks about in Daniel 12 about the knowledge and travel will increase uh, the amount of information that we have at our fingertips. The amount of technology that's today is so astounding uh, and how quickly people can travel as well. So it's, you're just seeing the fulfillment there. Uh, even this week, they had the U.N. general meeting. They, they have a global agenda. They want to have a one world government. Uh, which is all part of Bible prophecy, and you're seeing this also taking place with the European Union, everything will eventually be coming together. Everything's being planned out as we speak. And there will, of course, be the mark of the beast. Um, uh, This last week, I was in Fiji with my wife, celebrating 20 years of uh, marriage. And uh, there's some places that you go, it's cashless. Uh, And just even in that small island of Fiji, it's cashless. You know, you can still do cash in some places, but some places they will not take cash. It, is, it has to be by a credit card or you charge it to your or your hotel or something like that. But it's, it's amazing to see it's a cashless society that we're quickly moving into, which everything will be accounted for so that the Antichrist can keep track of everything. And there'll be eventually, as we mentioned, the mark of the beast. Um, you do see the attempts for, for world peace, where people will say, you know, peace and safety and sudden destruction will come. You know, so everyone wants to be this peacemaker and the peace deal. Uh, so this is something we'll be hearing on a regular basis. And, of course, uh, the issues that continue to astound uh, and surround Jerusalem, uh, as it says in Scripture in uh, Zechariah 12, will be the burdensome stone. Uh, this is such a place of contention. And even in um, uh, President Abbas, who's the Palestinian president, um, his contention with um, 
Jerusalem and how upset the, the Arab world is that the United States called Jerusalem the, the capital of, of uh, Israel and also moving the embassy there. So this created a lot of tension there around the world. So these are all just signs of the times that we know that we're in and the frequency of these things, the magnitude of these things. So we know we're close to the, the Lord's soon return. So we've got to keep that in mind that he can come today. He can come tomorrow, 10 years from now, but this is something we need to always be ready for because our time is, uh, our days are numbered. Whether we die physically for whatever happens to us or the rapture can happen, either way, we need to always be ready for the return of Jesus Christ. Amen? And that's it for today's update.